welcome back to my channel this is Shasha SJ thank you so much for coming by today today we are going to make another DIY that is from the Dollar Tree Adam, which is how to make a gnome's boots or shoes and everybody is wondering on how to make them and this is how I make mine and yeah let's get started and I'll show you how I make mine all right let's go All right, to be able to make our baby gnome a shoes, you can get a shoes for baby shower favors at the Dollar Tree. I got this, they have pink and blue. But right now, I'm going to use the pink shoe. And we are going to need a rice, right? Felt, this is what we need. Because I want to matchy match or matchy matchy. <laughs> Somehow to match on our gnome's hat. And then a scissors. Any kind of scissors, all right? I don't have any specific scissors. And a glue gun, all right? So let's get started on how I make. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You got to have at least a thin kind of tape. And what I have right now is just this. You can use regular tape, any tape that is thin. So what I have is this one. So if you don't have any tape, just use a electrical tape that could use to. So let's get started and let's go. All right, so this time we are going to fill the space in the shoe. Okay, first the bottom, work on the bottom. Fill this up with rice. And if there is more needs to fill in, fill this up, fill it up. Make sure they are evenly even at the bottom of that shoe, okay? Next, you are going to grab your tape, just tiny to close that up. All right. And then you are just going to tape it like that, like so. And then we have a weight on that shoes already. It's awesome how that rice works. Next, you're going to grab your felt of your choice and you're going to glue that in this area. Like so, like that, okay? So just glue that in. Not so much, just like right here not outside or somehow or whatever you want to do just like that okay and just glue it and wait until they dry okay once they dry you can cut that like so not close to the shoe but at least there is a little somehow space in there just like that like a little edge where you can fold it okay and then set that aside and you can now cut a slit in there just cut tiny little piece so then you can fold it close to that plastic shoe Okay. All right. So next you are going to put a glue in that space area. Not so much. Put them right on the end of the shoe, like how I do it, just right there and fold your felt close to that glue so they're flattened 
okay and you don't have to worry about the smidge of the glue in there because it'll be covered anyways then put some more Alright, so the bottom of our shoe are already done. What we are going to do is we are going to cut a two inches of wide. So then, just like that. So we can glue this on the side of the shoe of our baby gnome, okay? Two inches. It is better that you have more spare then nothing okay so always cut with spare all right so that's two inches there you go that's two inches one two okay and next you are going to start at the way back of the shoe like right on the heel of the shoe so you start in there in the middle you glue it right there in the middle okay so don't worry about this one yet worry about the one behind the heel okay so you are going to put a glue straight line in there and put a little bit of smidge right there where you have to start okay and then Start putting that felt in. Okay. There you go. Now it's glued. And all you have to do is you just have to put that felt all the way to the back. You have to be very, very careful when you put a little bit of a glue in it because you don't want the glue gun or the glue comes out on your shoe because then it's going to be looking funky. Alright, and then you go all the way. And once you reach to that end and you glue that in there, you are going to start cutting that piece on that edge, okay? You are going to cut it straight line. Right, so just like that and you can help that felt push in glued to that area. Just like that, okay? Now you are going to work on gluing this. Just a little bit of smidge on the back and like so to where that felt meet. Like right to the edge where the felt meet. Okay. And there you go. Super nice and pretty. Now it's going to be look like that. Okay. So next what you are going to do. See the inside in there? where there is in here, you are going to put a dab of glue down here, right here by the toe, like this toe right here. Okay, you're going to put the glue in it. All 
right? Now, after that, you are going to start pushing from the middle. You push that in like so. Okay, once you push that in, now you are going to move or work on the side of the shoe and work on that side of the shoe. See how they faced up like that? That's how it's supposed to be looking, okay? Now you can glue this part right here where that felt meat. Okay. After that, you can now put a glue around inside the felt. Okay, as you can see, there is a glue around it and all you have to do is push that in and push them in. You can work on it. There you go. You just have to push them in like so. And there you go. You have an awesome shoe of your baby gnome. There you go. Super cute. And look at the back of that shoe. Super pretty and clean. Look at that, so cute. All right, next you are going to fill this in with rice, okay? Now let's fill this in with rice. And look, it's filled in with rice and I already made other one so it should be like this so what you are going to need next is you are going to glue this two shoes together so it's not going to be shifting everywhere okay so glue this two shoes together like so like just on the side where that shoe touches okay you need to do that because so they're not going to be like shifting and wobbling on the gnome's body just enough where they touches let me get some glue glue stick Just glue them together like so and then you just have to wait until they are dry next since they're together we are going to put a glue down here a dab of glue on the rice and on the side of that shoe not outside but almost inside okay so just glue it and put also a glue on the rice so the rice can help it hold it as well All right, so just like that. It's not outside, but just inside. Okay, and then we can put our gnome's body in it. And there you go, it's super cute. Look at my baby gnome, super, super cute. 
and I like that little hat. If you want to learn how I made this gnome, go check on the next video and I'll show you how I make this baby gnome. There you go, super cute. And that baby gnome has a shoe and it's super clean. Look how cute that is. Super clean. All right, and look at that little fluffy beard of that baby gnome. Super cute. So yeah, check on the next video and I'll show you how I made this baby gnome. All right, so see you soon. super fast and easy huh anyway here is my gnome super cute and it holds really really good on that gnome's body super cute and easy there is my beautiful gnome that I just made with a hand on it super cute anyway if you want to learn how I make this gnome go check on the next video and I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful gnome anyway see you soon and you have an awesome day thank you for watching Shasha SJ come back next time you have an awesome day